What is the rarest coin that you have in your collection? It's probably not as rare as the one that just sold this weekend down at the Heritage Auctions, and it probably won't pull in as much either. We're going to be talking about that here in just a moment. Welcome back, guys, to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP Bullion, and this is your Morning Market Wake Up Call for Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Ooh, we've had some dips in the market that we need to talk about first. Let's go ahead and jump on in and see where we're going to be starting today off at. Gold is down slightly, currently at 1848.27. Silver down significantly at 2528. That gives us a ratio of 7310. Platinum back under $1,100, currently at 1089.79. Palladium is at 2350.21. And Rhodium is steady at 18,000. We've seen losses ever so slightly in base metals. Copper is at 356, nickel at 814, aluminum at 91 cents, zinc at $1.18, and lead is at 91 cents. Barrels of crude oil are steady, currently at 52.67 a barrel. We had a mixed day on Wall Street yesterday. The Dow Jones was down 26 points at 30,927.04. The NASDAQ was down 9 points at 13,962.07. And the S&P 500 was down 5 points. So I guess we had a losing day all the way around. Those numbers did update it. The S&P 500 was down 5 points at 3849.62. Uh, the one thing of note, uh, if you guys hadn't been following the information there, uh, GameStop, which I know a lot of people are familiar with, it's the retailer that resells games, uh, video games and such, uh, their stock is up 500% on the year. I think it was up like 115% just yesterday. I uh, read several articles last night about what's going on there. It's a very interesting uh, topic. We we'll, might try to cover that tomorrow. Um, in the morning market wake up call because it is a very fascinating story so well i digress the u.s dollar index is up currently at 9051. if you guys happen to trade in bitcoin i am sorry but those are down we are going to probably be seeing that drop down below thirty thousand today currently bitcoin's at thirty thousand eight ninety eight twenty seven and if you happen to exchange gold back today whether that be the utah or the nevada those are exchanging for three dollars and twenty four cents as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we had a record-setting coin sold this past weekend. This comes to us from Coin World Magazine. This is titled 19 or 1804 Gold Eagle from the Bob Simpson Collection Sets Record at Heritage. An 1804 capped bust $10 Gold Eagle graded proof 65 plus deep cameo with a green CAC sticker brought $5.28 million at Heritage's January 20th Dallas auction of the Bob R. Simpson Collection Part 3. It is the capstone of a strong auction where two other coins crossed the $2 million barrier among with the sales of five coins that exceeded $1 million. The, and, uh, the 275 coin lot auction uh, garnered $21.86 million, adding to the $23 million in the part one and part two offerings of the collection in the Texas, uh, the Texas businessman and co-owner of the Texas Rangers baseball team. So chances are he probably didn't need the money. The magnificent 1804 capped bust plain for Gold Eagle Rarity is listed as BD2 in the Bass Denruthen Gold Reference and Judd 33 in the Pattern Reference. I do not know what those are. Uh, maybe there's some, some ultra pneumocysts uh, in here in the community that can tell us what those actually mean. Um, and is the finest of only three known, so very, very rare as well. The issue shares a lot in common with the better known Class 1 1804 draped bust silver dollars in that they were struck circa 1834 for uh, inclusion in di diplomatic presentation proof sets. 
This eagle was part of the Sultan of Muscat set presented to, and I'm going to foul this up, Sayyid Sayyid bin Sultan. The offering in Dallas marked only the third time it had appeared in auction. Its sale made it the third most expensive U.S. coin at auction, according to a list of the top 250 coins at auction in the most recent Red Book, after the famed 1933 St. Gaudens $20 gold double eagle uh, that sold for $7.59 million at, the, uh, at a Stax and Southern Bees auction in 2002. So there we have it. We have, this article goes on for quite a ways. It details uh, several of the coins that sold. Um, very cool that uh, we had a coin break into the top five most expensive coins of all time uh, when it comes to U.S. currency. So, again, I ask, what's the, the rarest coin that you have in your collection? And uh, would you ever consider putting it up at auction if it's, if it's an auction-worthy piece or if it's just something that you're going to you know, someday keep uh, pass on to your kids or you're, you know, wait for the time to be right and then sell it. Be interested to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Guys, I do greatly appreciate every single one of you. And if you happen to appreciate old Indie XP Bullion, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button for me right there. It really helps me out immensely. If you happen to be new to the independent experience and you want to keep up to date on when all the latest and greatest content comes out, of course, you can always hit the subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner. Bing bong so you can stay notified of when the new content comes out. Of course, over on this side of the screen right here, we're going to pop up the box. It's going to be the gateway to the back catalog. You can start clicking through those videos at your heart's content at the end of this one. Guys, I've been Indie XP Bullion from the Independent Experience, and I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.